at organic lip care all right so everyone's uh, lips are different and it's from that uh, difference that we all authentic looking gorgeous but we can enhance on how we look by actually taking care of our different lips because that's outstanding I think that's one thing that you notice when you meet someone and they smile at you be like oh I gotta smile back <laughs> in the studio I'm joined with Steven Juguna who is the CEO of Blaze Tear Beauty uh, Lip Care Thank you very much, Michelle. Right. Yes, you did. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> she actually got it right. Welcome. So, um, tell us more about uh, uh, Blaster, Blaster Beauty Lipstick, uh, uh, Lip Care, that is. Okay. Um, so, uh, Blaster Beauty is an organic lip care line based in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, so basically we make organic lip care, that is lip balms and uh, lip glosses. All of them from organic compounds, that is lip loving oils and uh, beeswax. And also inclusive of like even the mica that we use, everything is sourced both locally, internationally, but it's 100% natural and organic. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. So basically it's just healthy lip care. All right. Yeah. Before we get into details of what you do, uh, take us, give us a little bit of a, of a background of who Stephen is, uh, uh, your educational background, where did you study? Yeah. Okay, let's start off from, from there. Uh, I'm a 23 year old um, entrepreneur. Um, I started my lip care line sometime in uh, 2018. Back then I was in college, um, so I was very broke. I only had 300 bob in my pocket. Mm -hmm. And then I had visited a friend in Nyeri a while back. So when I got here, um, I rushed to Du Bois. I got a few lipsticks. One was going for 50 shillings. I went back to school. I was in KMTC back then. Um, I was studying a course in orthopedics and trauma medicine. And so I started a small cosmetic business in school, which later with time birthed to this. I learned the formula of making this from, from, from YouTube. Uh, so something so small has become something very, very important and very sentimental in my life. Uh, but apart from this, I also run a small smoky joint. So I basically uh, sell eggs and smokies around home. So I'm um, an entrepreneur at heart. Mm -hmm. Though school-wise, I just graduated recently. I have a diploma in orthopedics and trauma medicine. So mm -hmm. stuff to do with bone care and emergency medicine. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and uh, wow, at your age. And it's just, uh, it's amazing how you are in a position to just understand that you need to make an extra coin. Yeah. <laughs> and just, you know, juggle a little bit of everything in there just to make uh, ends meet. Yeah. So talk to me about where did the passion of beauty come from? It has, so passionate about this? Um, I think it comes from, my mom runs a salon around home, so I think growing up I've seen her basically touch people up and, and make them look good and feel good and, and be confident. And um, I'm one person who's always like, that, you know, I, I'm always, um, I, I've always been this kid who I would walk in a room and look at people and be like, I like her because she looks like this. I don't like her makeup. So I think it came from that. I never really understood it until one particular point. I'm with my friends in town and we get in a very big cosmetic store uh, along Moy Avenue. And I get there and I'm like, you know what, guys, someday I want to run such kind of a business and um, but I think lip care is uh, basically beauty is uh, it's a, a multi-billion uh, business industry and locally it's something that has not been embraced fully by creators and entrepreneurs and that's a thing that I want to change in future. Okay. Yeah. So when you're that friend, when you get into a store, we are just simply looking for probably a nude lipstick. You, you are just thinking of how they manufactured the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So my approach to cosmetic is mostly uh, product based, not really service based. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. Understand. Yeah. I've a picture now. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to me about uh, funding your business. Uh, mm -hmm. Back in 2018, you have 300 bob. You went to a store to buy lipstick got a couple of mistakes and here you are manufacturing your own yeah. so talk to me about the initial early stages of your business you're working from home right yes 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 i basically make them in my kitchen 
Perfecto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always we making them in my kitchen. Uh, yeah. So, so talk to me about your initial investment and in funding of the business. Um, so what happened was at around uh, 2019 December, I happened to attend an entrepreneurship dinner that was being hosted in Nairobi Baptist. Um, and so there was this lady who was a speaker. And after the whole session, I went to her and I told her, I introduced myself to her and I told her that I wanted to start a cosmetic business. Um, uh, who are you in introducing yourself to right now? She was a lady. She was giving, uh, she was actually the host. Okay. Yes, yes, she was the host speaker. And so I talked to her about about my business. And, and then we were like, cool, great. We exchanged contacts. And then um, sometime in uh, January of... 2020 she gives me a call and she's like I'm very interested in your proposal mm -hmm. and so we met we talked um, we had um, the details right I had a few small coins in my savings account and then she topped out the rest and yeah that is how basically we started in March of 2020 mm -hmm. yeah you know, it's one thing to mm -hmm. just uh, come to your page. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, it's... Uh, organic Lip Care Solutions. No, like your social media handles. Yeah. Okay. Oh, simple as that. Yeah, Organic, organic Lip Care Solutions. Okay. Yes. So, um, you know, it's one thing to come to you and just say that I want to, you know, get a lip gloss or anything. But uh, I wouldn't think from the aspect of uh, what you go to to just make this. So, briefly take us through that in terms of manufacturing. What sort of ingredients do you use? How long does it take for you to make? Uh, because they're different. Uh, is it? Do you say flavor? Yes, yes, they are different flavors. Yeah, candy. Yes. Uh, you'll go into details as well. So, briefly. Yeah. Take us to the manufacturing aspect. What type of ing ingredients do I use? How long does it take to even make, uh, let's say, this one that uh, a lip um, me the candy one? Uh, so. Yeah. Um, uh, so, first of all, by the I learned the whole procedure to make the bums from YouTube. Okay. I watched a video on YouTube and it made so much sense. Uh, so, basically, we use. Um, we use we use beeswax. We use um, there is shea butter. There is coconut oil. There is castor oil. There is vitamin E oil. So basically, we take organic oils that are very lip loving and very friendly to the skin of the lips. All of them with different compounds. An example of an ingredient like coconut oil. It's a very good natural skin bleacher okay yeah. lightener so in case like you're suffering from darkened lips and you use our products so our product is going to with time restore your lips back to their very natural state um, time wise it takes around uh, one hour between 45 minutes and one hour to make uh, mm -hmm. a specific batch that is a specific flavor mm -hmm. yes yes because there is also the process of cleaning and you also have to make them through a heated water bath so it's quite it's not like quite a tenuous process but a very simple one uh, around between uh, 45 to an hour i'm always done with mm -hmm. uh, a batch that is perhaps a certain flavor okay yeah for guys who have uh we have people who have who have issue with dry lips yeah and then we have guys who have issues with cracked lips I don't, is it the same thing? It's not. Yeah, they are mostly the same thing. Mostly it's just the that they thing. are caused by different. Uh, okay, okay. So, what would you advise for people who have that particular uh, issue? Uh -huh. So, what we have done with our product is I'll give you an example of our bums. We have two bums here. We mm -hmm. have this one. This mm -hmm. is a herbal lip balm. Mm -hmm. So, this is a very good balm for anybody who suffers from extremely dry lips. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons it's good is because we have doubled the waxes and the oils. So what beeswax does is beeswax will lock in moisture in your skin. So you're not going to lose a lot of water. Remember, dry lips will be caused by factors like uh, dehydration, okay, or the weather perhaps it's extremely sunny or there are people who keep licking their lips mm. because they're just generally dry. Mm -hmm. So this one has double the waxes. Mm -hmm. So um, it's going to help lock in moisture and restore your lips so you won't have like extremely dry lips but they'll be very moisturized and then now we have our other bumps mm -hmm. so, I'm sorry oh, okay so these ones are for people who have very okay lips but they want to make sure that their lips stay healthy 
and moisturized and well taken care of. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take us through a couple of tips that you can give us to just ensure that we have healthy looking lips. Healthy looking lips. <laughs> yes. um, one of them is um, hydrate. Mm -hmm. Always, 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 always hydrate. Mm -hmm. And two is um, an example like for ladies because they are always using lipstick, oh, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So get a product like our balm is a very good lipstick base, okay? So just apply it beneath your lipstick. Put your Before lipstick you on, yeah, so because you have already protected your lips. Okay. But I don't really, especially for cosmetic, we don't, unfortunately, there is a lot of counterfeit out there. Mm -hmm. So before you apply the product mm -hmm. directly on your lips, use oh. a very good quality product to protect it. So our balm is very good as that no, outer protection it. for your no, lips, okay? Yeah. And then so in the evening also, I mm -hmm. realize, you know, you'll just remove your lipstick and then just apply Vaseline and you sleep. Um, so you can also use it to just for night care, after oh, care on your lips, okay? okay. So uh, in the meantime, your lips will be very sustained. Um, even for people who smoke, because uh, smoking also cause darkened lips, mm. just use a lip balm after smoking. And then we have people who, who actually have dark lips and yet they don't smoke. Yeah. Um, probably uh, developed uh, with time mm -hmm. due to lipstick that one has used prior, yeah. as you've mentioned, a counterfeit of the original product. Of course. How do you deal with that? Do you just retain back to the normal color? Um, so, um, uh, like, uh, as I've said, our products have an example of coconut oil mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. in our product. So consistent use of the product is going to help. Also with, like, dark lips, they are also caused by extreme weather. That is extreme humidity that is hotness or the weather can be very cold mm -hmm. so always make sure that your lips are just well sustained mm -hmm. and and just covered mm -hmm. don't go with them out there you can do the style mm -hmm. yeah all right let's go to uh, brand visibility yeah. and position it uh, what are a couple of things that you've uh, put together mm -hmm. uh, to just ensure that your name is out there in the market space yeah um, the, take us through your branding strategy as well um, um, when we started, um, I had, I, I had the intention of, you know, going full makeup, full skincare, full hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so one of the, the, one of the things that I've done for brand visibility is just a niche marketing and it's just lip care lip care only only lip care and then also introducing and introducing products that are just fun and and very very engaging also we have had a very great um, group of people especially makeup artists who have taken our product, used it, reviewed it, and talked to their clients about it. There's also paid partnerships by Google ads and things of that sort. So, but mostly time. Time is quite a big factor when it comes to visibility because it takes time for, especially for the Kenyan market. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very peculiar, peculiar market. It takes time for people to trust you and your work so as long as you're like very very consistent and there is always some kind of improvement i usually call myself a creator of my products and my work because this is something that keeps growing so constant improvement and lessons be it in advertising or how you present your work like when you started we only had one flavor we never had glosses or other Flavors of bam yes, <laughs> you only had one and okay. it was packaged in other tubes. So consistent working and just evolving your work. People when people see effort, they just appreciate it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, you've mentioned something which is very true that it's very hard to break into the market space. Yeah. Yeah. And the competition is very high. Mm -hmm. What keeps you consistent and what's the brand vision? Um, what keeps me consistent is the people that buy from me. I have had the privilege of getting some of the best testimonials ever. And so when someone texts me in the morning or after you buy, buy my product, they're like, hi, Steve, I bought your product. So far, so good. I've seen my lips improve. I'm going to definitely recommend this to my friend. And the friend calls and they're like, Nataka Kama in Yalichukua. <laughs> that seriously keeps me going. I have had the best clientele 
in the whole world. Mm -hmm. I have honestly had an opportunity of experiencing that. Um, uh, the brand vision. Yes, uh, we intend to become I hope people mark this because I want them to, and I'm saying Hey, take loud. it back again. <laughs> I want them to mark this. But yes. <laughs> our vision is to produce quality, uh -huh. or original, affordable cosmetics. And so our big dream is to become one of the biggest, actually, manufacturers and distributors of cosmetics quality, affordable, original cosmetics in Eastern Central Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, probably in the next 10 or 15 years. Oh, and I see, you know, like we've, we've gone on with this conversation back and forth, and I've just realized I didn't ask, or I'm just curious right now, why did you choose to go organic? Because of one thing. Mm -hmm. um, we, my, it's, it's, I, 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 I told you that I used to buy lipstick from Du Bois oh, and go yes. and sell to my mom. Yes. So on this particular day, my mom bought lipstick. It was littered Anastasia Steel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I just sold my mom lipstick for a hundred bob, but that's not the ideal Anastasia Steel. Mm -hmm. It's not right. It's something that she's even putting very close to her mouth. It's something that she's consuming. Mm -hmm. And so the aspect of uh, the, uh, the idea came from me wanting to produce a product that was very wholesome because my idea of doing work and business is doing work that is just you know that work that does not really i don't really have to step on people or harm people so that i can make money my, the idea of organic lip care is just having a product that is whole a product that is safe for myself i use my product because it's safe for myself and it's safe for my little brother and it's safe for my mother so the the idea is just having a product that is just safe for human consumption, a product that does the job that's supposed to do, but it's also not really having very sad, negative consequences. All right. Yes. Let's look at your retail strategy. Do you work with retailers or do you sell your products directly to your customers? Uh, at the moment, we are just selling directly to our customers, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we, are, we are looking forward to um, retailing our products in our own shops um, uh, starting in January of 2023. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And who are you, like, literally, like, your target market? Uh, my target market are uh, mostly um, women um, and, and, and men, people, as long as these uh, people who are passionate about organic beauty and wholesome living, um, whether men or women, as long as someone is interested in wholesome living and organic beauty, those are our target market. All right. Yes. Uh, looking back uh, from 2018, mm -hmm. when just uh, you know bringing this baby to <laughs> to life, yeah. uh, what are a couple of uh, lessons that you've learned along the way? Uh, my greatest lesson has been consistency and discipline it pays it honestly pays when i started i didn't know stuff i only knew how to make one flavor of lip balms i didn't know the kind of mic i didn't even know like things like maker that is the coloring that we use our products is is usually available it's something that you use and and for some reason seeing myself grow as a person and seeing my work grow has been like one of those very big highlights another lesson has been um it, uh, I'm sure there are a couple. Yeah, yeah there are so many. Uh, <laughs> but one of the most important ones has been just the power of just being very disciplined and, and being very consistent. It pays. All right. It pays. Have you ever been in a position whereby you have products yeah. and you feel like these are the best products? Why are Kenyans not buying these products? Have you ever been in a position whereby there are no sales? And um, what made you keep going? Um, uh, it actually struck a few months. You see, I started in March of 2020 and then at around april may corona hits and so i live in kiambu so i usually get most sales to nairobi so basically there is a lockdown and i have merchandise that was worth a lot of money close to six thousand shillings lying around in the house and so by the time the lockdown was being lifted most of my product had gone bad Mm -hmm. You know, I was, I was watching myself throw them away. I'm like, God, how do I have to go through this? Mm -hmm. But basically what has seen me through is, is the dream. 
Okay. It's the dream. Right. It's the dream. It's right here. Mm -hmm. it, it's the dream. It just keeps me going. Not the money, not the people, but just the dream. And I've always lived with the idea of if I make a product and people don't like it or if it doesn't sell, as long as I have put my work there, that is always enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the opportunity to just work and produce something that is mine is usually just very much enough mm -hmm. yeah let's look at uh let's address the legalities mm -hmm. uh in, in your line of business i'm sure there's aspect of licensing and building clientele uh, aspect of credibility of course how do you deal with that and are you guys licensed uh not yet mm -hmm. um we're working on registration mm -hmm. and stuff of that sort we're already consulting lawyers yeah but it's organic so yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. it's very organic mm -hmm. uh but mostly the credibility aspect of it comes from um how can i put it um i think god has been very very gracious mm -hmm. and and very very kind to us and we have come across people who are very very trusting mm -hmm. um, but also and the uh, results well, from client yes uh, we have uh, if you look at our social media pages you see like we have a lot of testimonials mm -hmm. and these are real life scenes from people um, there's also the other the other aspect of um, like we have just had people just love our work and, uh, and also we film and we show people how we make our work all oh, of it yes okay. yes we have okay. it on youtube so we also have those issues out there mm -hmm. so there's a lot of transparency on how we do you our go about work. this yeah even in the aspect of manufacturing of course okay so has steven was there a business plan do you have a business plan that you say that this is what i'm going to do this is the amount of finances that i'm going to set aside this is the retail strategy was there like a business plan yeah starting off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm one person who believes in creating systems. Mm -hmm. um, and so much of my time has been spent on um, reading books and doing research and writing down goals and ticking what has been done, reviewing what has been done, what works. Mm -hmm. and what really doesn't and it comes across you know when you're now running a small business on your own you become everything and so it comes across all platform from the finances to marketing to legal and everything of that sort but yes we do have it all right how important is it for someone who wants to start a business to have a, like a drawing board of how they want things to run yeah and <laughs> I'll ask the second question later after it, this. It's like, um, uh, you see, it's one thing, like, mm -hmm. uh, assuming we are lighted at around archives mm -hmm. this morning, and for me, my goal was to come to Y254, so I know the route to Y254, and then the other person, we are two of us, and you, you are just there and call, like, so it's June in the UN, mm -hmm. um, Horu Park, Amaniende Mombasa Road, you see. Um, focus is very important. Um, cause, so with that written plan, you already know how you're, where you are going, mm -hmm. where you want to go. So we focus. focus exactly. It keeps you, very, it gives you a sense of of direction mm. and then that way you can also be able to review yourself and know what is working and what and is also not working. Not, and yes. Not. yes. For one person yeah. who wants to get into the beauty entrepreneur, uh, beauty, inter the inter beauty entrepreneurship uh, space, um, what would be your advice when it comes to just, the, let, let's look at the earlier stages of just starting off. Yeah. What would be your, your advice to that particular person? Intention, intention. Um, this is an industry that has been flooded with so many counterfeit poor products. I think you've seen it on the internet. Someone went bought Suji Foundation, you know, mm. skin cream, applied it, the skin has changed, oh, yes. damaged up their forever. Skin, yeah. um, you know, uh, I once saw a feature on TV years back when I was in high school, I was saying that people are consuming lipstick that has lead in mm. it. It's lead, it's a very dangerous mineral. And so on would be just be very intentional with your work. You know, um, the point of doing business and when God gives you a chance and God entrusts you with something like this, make sure that you're just making honest work. Mm -hmm. It's just, always about the money. Uh, it's, the no, impact it's that all you're about honest strategy. work. And yeah. I'm a, one person who believes that there are people in this republic and in our society who have made an honest living. Mm -hmm. And 
God is capable of blessings, so don't seriously just use shortcuts or things of that sort. Just make an honest living. Just have honest work. Okay. Yeah. If you can't seriously use your product, if you then if you can't trust your product with your family or someone very dear to you, then don't sell it to anybody else. Absolutely. Yeah, be very intentional. Okay, and uh, as we wind up, what are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned along this uh, from from your business? From my business? Mm. Oh, save. God, save. <laughs> Save, save, uh -huh. save, save. Um, spare some time, some nini of money. J just save for okay. a rainy day. Mm -hmm. Another one is don't hold money. No, 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 mm. no, no, no. Um, just invest it back to your business. Okay, you make ten thousand in sales. T save a thousand or two thousand. Take eight thousand back. Mm. Do better. Mm -hmm. Do better. Do better. But don't seriously hold money. Just do better and also do not mix your financial money with your personal Business. finances always uh, pay yourself okay. also okay. yeah always pay i pay myself with commission All per right. product okay. so always pay yourself um and be disciplined very, i feel like it would be required to be really disciplined very very disciplined especially because this, money. this is you like no one is watching nobody you. This is, is watching <laughs> you um so be very very disciplined yeah yeah couple of challenges that you faced along the way? Uh, understanding the market mm -hmm. locally. Um, that has been one, uh, a very hectic one. Understanding how I'm still figuring it out because mm -hmm. um, the Kenyan market is just <laughs> very different. It's you very, really very different. You really insisted on that it's on Kenyan different. market. You can yeah. um, set up a website because you have read an American book that yeah. is telling you to mm. set up a website and do oh. stuff. But here, um, yes, people know of websites and how they work, but they barely do mm. actually visit the actual websites mm -hmm. and shop. Another challenge has been... Uh, uh, before we move to the other challenge, sorry for cutting you short. Mm -hmm. You feel like for... Because you mentioned something important, like when you talk about website, website, website. Mm -hmm. And if you do research, they always tell you to start up a website and go all in. But most Kenyans are not always, you know, clicking on that website. They're of course. Are, they're mostly on social media. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're on Twitter. Yeah. So do you feel like the alternatives is way better and people should focus on that, especially during the early stages of your business? Yeah, I, I feel like websites would work for certain businesses mm -hmm. they would also not work for other businesses mm -hmm. and so d depending on whichever field you are in maybe for a tech company a website would be very important it's so very mm. important for podcasts to have a website but you also have to find different ways where you can just source people and stuff like for us we make most of our money from social media yeah, that yeah. is Instagram. especially instagram yeah mm. um you see that is different from and i don't have you know, an actual website yet. Yeah, so I feel also like your clientele, your target market also set the pace of where of you where should you, be at. Yeah, of where you should be at, mm. of where you should be at. Because if I tell your business is, so you have to know how vi various social media platforms and, and the internet generally works, you know, mm. who is, the, and there are books about it. Who does? How does Facebook work? Mm -hmm. How does Instagram work? How does Twitter work? Mm -hmm. And then once you look at all those, how does Snapchat work? Because there are business who are making a killing on Snapchat and TikTok. Oh, yeah, true. So how do they work? And then after you realize how do they, they work, then you choose one or two and you just focus Position on them. Yourself, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're going to make money from it. All right. Yes. Uh, so for people who want to keep the conversation going, for yeah. guys who want to order in, uh, for me, uh, I got mine. Mine was candy. Yes. It was. It looks nude though. Yeah, yeah. It's a very nice balm. So thank you very much, Stephen, for this. Yeah. And uh, guys, I'll give you a review on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely will. And most, most definitely, how can people reach out to you and keep the conversation going, make their orders? Um, uh, visit us on social media, Instagram at uh, Organic Lip Care Solution. Just Organic Lip Care Solution on Instagram. Blessed Air Beauty on Facebook. And you can WhatsApp us on 0796 625. Repeat that again. 0796 620 625. That's our WhatsApp number. All right. Thank you very much. Steven Njuguna. Thank you very for much creating for having time to be with us. us. Yes. So looking forward to, uh, you know, applying this. It's called, it's called Candy. 
Uh, yeah. It's a moisturizing lip balm. So, you guys, I'll give you a review next Tuesday. All right. So, thank you very much, Stephen, for coming through Carry and talking about matters you. pertaining uh, the beauty entrepreneurship uh, space and matters pertaining uh, the organic lip care. Thank you. All May right, God guys. Bless, to pay for. Thank All you right. very much for this opportunity. Thank you as well. <laughs> <laughs> guys, keep it right here on Y254 channel. We'll be right back with so. Oh, I was about to say we'll be right back with so much more, but I doubt that because of our time. But we'll be right back with Ram to sample a couple of your comments on our social media handle that is at y254 channel at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social and ramagoka we'll be right back